Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Russ Resnick. He is the Worldwide Segment Manager for 102 Socket Rack Servers. David, doing, glad Russ? to be here. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the Think System SR530. This is our new uh, Value ones, uh, 1U two socket rack server. Right, right Russ? supporting the Intel uh, Xeon scalable family of processors. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, we have also, in addition to the SR530, we have the SR630, which is another one of our 1U boxes. Correct. Now, Russ, uh, tell us about how these two systems compare. So, this is really the value version of the SR630. It supports less dim sockets, less storage, but has the same management controller, the X Clarity controller, same firmware and features that the SR630 has. So this is really for customers who don't need all the features of the SR630 and are really looking for a lower cost solution. So what sort of applications then would be, would be good for this? So this is great for web serving, uh, compute appliance, or email, or file and print. Uh, those are all really good applications that, this, that fit mm -hmm. well on this kind of server. Now we also have the SR550, which is the 2U version of this system, That's also correct. in the value mm -hmm. line. Now, why would a customer pick the 1U over the 2U? Well, this server really supports less storage. So if you don't need the kind of storage that the SR550 can give you, mm -hmm. the SR530 uh, is a much better choice. Right, okay. So let's look at the, the components at the front, the back, and look inside then, shall Sure. We? Okay. Now, this system, um, has, we put on here the optional security bezel. Um, this basically is used to, to prevent access to the front drives, right, Russ? Correct. Yep. Um, you can remove it very easily. It, it has a, a key at the front to lock it, a very simple device. Um, now, it is the same bezel used on the... SR630. Right. So the SR630 and the SR530 share the exact same security bezel. Mm, okay. Now, the front of this server we have is... Uh, this, is these are, this is a model with three and a half inch drive bays, mm -hmm. and it supports three, four or three and a half inch. Right, right, either hot swap or simple swap. Yep. Now it also supports two and a half inch as well. Right, up to eight. Right, so eight hot, eight hot two and a half inch hot swap drives is also available mm -hmm. here on, uh, for this Correct. system. Correct. Yeah, okay. Now, in addition to that, um, the front of the system we have uh, a USB and uh, power controls, right? Correct. Um, what, are the, what are the control functions here? So we have an ID button and a power button, and we also have some indicators for uh, system activity. And then we have the USB ports, one of which uh, allows you to connect a uh, smartphone or a tablet directly to the XClarity controller through the USB port. Hmm. And the XClarity mobile app supports now uh, talking to the XClarity controller that's on the motherboard. And that's, that's our service processor on, on all our Think System servers, right? Correct. Yep. And the, the mobile app really serves as a virtual LCD panel to uh, uh, check the settings and uh, update s settings on the server. Hmm. Okay, very good. Um, now, the, the system also has a little pull-out tab here. Um, on the production systems, this would have a, um, a label that shows you the IP address of the system. So if you do need to do remote access, because the, the, the system supports remote access, um, then the IP address and the MAC address would give you that information. That's right. Yeah, so that's easy to access. Yeah. All right, now on the back of the system, as we mentioned, this 1U system, um, as well as having fewer um, bays um, compared to its 2U brother, um, this has fewer slots as well. Um, it has one LOM slot plus three, up, up to three PCIe Low slots. slots right? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now the LOM slot here uh, gives you access to two uh, Ethernet ports, either one gig or 10 gig. Or 10 gig, and the 10 gig can be either SFP plus or, or 10 G base T. Right. Yep. And that's in addition to the standard one gig Ethernet ports that are that are just here. And so that gives you a total of four network ports that you can use right. to access plus the X Clarity controller. Port. Right. In the middle here, there's a dedicated service processor um, connection, so that you can use this to connect to the service processor, the X Clarity controller, mm -hmm. um, and in the system. Yep. Now next to that is the rear VGA uh, connector. Um, now the two, uh, sorry, the top above those is the three uh, PCIe mm -hmm. slots, and we also have a, a separate riser option, which allows for one low profile and one full height right. PCIe slot. Yeah. So this system gives you a variety of choices, um, whether you want to have um, all by eights, all low profile, or whether you are in, uh, in need of a full height 
um, adaptive slot as well. That's correct. Yeah. Now, this, this riser here, of course, if you do install it, it replaces the existing slots um, and it renders that you only get two slots available because there's not, no physical space for a third slot. That's what this little, little um, cover here is. So keep that in mind. It, it, the, the full height option is available to you if you, if you want that, um, want that uh, connectivity. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put that over there. Okay, um, let's open up the box now and have a look inside, shall we? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's do it. Okay. So as we mentioned at the beginning, uh, this, this server uses the um, new Intel Xeon scalable family of processors. Remember that. Um, and the system has a total of 12 DIMM slots. And that's six per, per process. CPU, that's yeah. correct. So this system here we have here is a, uh, a single single processor system with six DIMMs installed. Mm -hmm. You can put another processor in for a total of 12. Now, if you have, for example, uh, the 64 gig LR DIMMs that the server supports, then we can support up to a total of 768 gigabytes of RAM. So a substantial memory footprint um, if you need it on, on the system. Yes. Even though it is a, a, a value, a value mm -hmm. line of, of mm -hmm. servers. We should point out this is our pre-production system. So normally with one CPU, there would be a, a wall here to prevent air recirculation. And if you had the second CPU, of course, then there'll be two more fans here. Right. So w when you have one processor, you have four simple swap fans. Mm -hmm. And when you have two processors, then you get uh, the system will have six simple swap fans. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Simple swap meaning that uh, you need to power off the system uh, before you can remove the component. And the blue label, the blue colouring on the, on the uh, finger positions indicates that, that they're simple swap rather than hot swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, towards the back, we have the, um, the power supplies. Um, Russ, the two choices are three, three choices, right? Yeah, 750 and 550 watt uh, uh, platinum and a 750 watt titanium. Right. So a variety of, of power supply choices, depending on the load, the configuration you have in the system, mm -hmm. you can pick either of those. Yep. Now, the system also has the, uh, these, this is the, where the um, PCIe slots are. Uh, next to that is this device here. This is the M.2 adapter. Uh, Russ, tell us about that. So this is a uh, M.2 adapter that's used to, to house boot drives. So you can have M.2 SSDs to be used for boot drives. The, the, one, in, the one that's installed here is the the single M.2. Mm -hmm. Now I also have here um, a dual M.2 adapter, and it's named that because simply it has support for two M.2 cards, one on either side. Plus the hardware RAID controller. Right. Yes. You can configure the M.2 as a RAID 1, mm -hmm. um, so this is, becomes a fully redundant uh, uh, option for, for boot. For boot. For yep. boot. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that goes in that, that slot just there, dedicated mm -hmm. slot for that. Yeah. Okay, now this server here has um, a RAID card. This is the RAID 538i. This is our internal RAID card. Um, a low function, low cost adapter. Correct. With, uh, no, it no supports cash. RAID 5, but it has no, no, no cash. cash. Mm -hmm. um, also available is, is adapters like, such as the 930 family, mm -hmm. um, which have um, cash installed. Correct. And they also support a um, uh, SuperCap. This is this device here. And the SuperCap goes, if I can just show you this, uh, the SuperCap is mounted on the, air, on the underside of the air baffle, like so. Um, and this is providing um, redundant power to the RAID card for, right. in, for, in, the, in the event of a, a power failure. For, correct. Yeah. So it can be the, the data that's in, this, in the cache. can be backed up to flash, and the super cap stores the energy to yeah. do that. Yeah. The, the, the 538i adapter d doesn't need a super cap because it doesn't have onboard cache. Correct. Yeah. Now, for, if, you look, if you're a customer that's looking for a very low-cost system, this server also supports straight SATA connections where the connections are just on the, on the system board here. So that is another option. So for those simple swap drives at the front, you, could, right. you would connect those directly to the SATA ports um, directly on the system board. All right, so I think that's pretty much all we want to cover here. Russ? Thank you very much. Yep. Now, if, you are, um, if, if, if someone's looking for more information about, about this system, where would they go? Should, please go to LenovoPress.com where you can find information about this server and all the other Thing System servers. Yep. You'll find a link to the product guide um, in the description for this video, so check that out. So thanks very much for your time. I hope you found this video useful, and we will see you later. Thanks.